Hi, my name's Mark Brzezicki and I play for the band Big Country. I do like musicality in drumming. The reason I play the drums is not just to, just to be a drummer, but it's to contribute to the music and to make the song come alive. Without the songs, I wouldn't be playing the drums. I wouldn't just go out playing drum solos every night. I want to play into music to get the groove, to get the feel with the bass player, um, to feel part of the band and contribute something, like I feel all the greats have. There's so many great musicians that I can tell who the drummer is when I hear their sound. I kind of feel that's missing these days, but back in the day, I don't know why, I can hear who the drummers are by their cymbal sound, their snare sound, the style they play, and I, I always wanted to aspire to be one of those drummers that had that signature sound. You know, for me, it's old school. Mic the drums up, go in a good room that's sympathetic, tune well so that you're giving a good sound from source, um, and then the rest should be easy. You know, bring that sound to, to, the, uh, to the music. I don't like the digital age. I've had the luxury of playing on big, you know, reel-to-reel -reel tapes, and you get amazing compression on those tapes. The drums, for me, are a unique instrument because they're covering so many frequencies. But in truth, digital recording equipment was very hard sounding. I think there's so many ways you go around to make it sound warm again, but at the end of the day, I think it's really only helped speed up the process. I don't think it's actually helped with the sound. I could never afford a drum kit when I first started. I had what was called a bits of kit, and a bit of this and a bit of that, and I had a, a self-made floor tom, and it was made of cardboard. And uh, it, was, it was corrugated cardboard with a drum skin and coat hanging legs, gaffer taped on, just to make up from a distance. If you were 40 feet away, it looked like I had a floor tom. You know, today it, it's very, very swamped with people going to drum school, guitar school, everyone walks around with guitar on the back. We've all got home recording studios. There's so much of it around. It's very, it's very hard now to make any dent anywhere. But all I say is what happened to me was, don't really box yourself into one style. What made me survive was being diverse. Be adaptable where you can put any different hat on them and give, if you have to play country, or metal, or soul, or funk, give it 100% each time with that same amount of dedication. You know, be inspired by all kinds of music and work with, work with many, many people, as many people as you can. And the other thing I would say, if you want to make it as a drummer these days, I truly believe you have to go full time. You have to be dedicated and committed to do it. It's very, very, very difficult to try and do it whilst you keep a day job down or you know, you've got other interests. You have to be dedicated.